I for one believe that if I am a CEO, I would like to do disruptions in my areas of core areas which I know the business. So, what is my core? What are the adjacencies to my core? And I would try and go beyond that because to plan a completely different entry into a <coughs> different industry would mean going through a youth learning curve. I'm not saying one should not do it, but I for one believe that it's better to go unless you get a fantastic idea which is completely different, which is completely different from existing business, one could always pursue, but try and do something which is your core or near your core. I think ultimately um, when it comes to moving forward, the culture of the organization is an important one. A culture where risk taking is encouraged because disruption will fail and you have to be prepared for failure. You can't say that I don't want to fail. Only when you fail, you will learn, you know. So I think you have to be prepared for some failures, some learning curve. So it's very important to have the culture where risk taking will not be punished, where people will be empowered to take certain decisions, where the top management's role is to act as an evangelist and try and go on supporting innovations, disruptions, um, reinforcing disruptions. Um, and finally, when something is ready, I would go through a prototype route because uh, there will be learning curves. So when you actually, there is a limit to market research you can do. Uh, and ultimately, there is the only way to test out is actually test out in the marketplace. So do it on a small scale, do it in few places where you treat that as a learning experiment because your business model will undergo change. It will just not, everything will not happen as you thought of. So you go on refining your your business model um, and ultimately once you achieve your action standards then you scale it up you know but uh, if it is a core or agency core sometimes disruption can as you were saying can disrupt your existing business so I'm saying it's okay to disrupt your existing business because if you don't then somebody else will I would personally prefer that when you disrupt your existing business, the new business which you're going into should have a higher margin compared to your existing business. So then you don't repent. If the margin is very, very low, then you start saying, okay, I'm disrupting my business, but I'm earning much lesser. I'm just giving an example where, you know, we are currently in a situation where we are in coconut oil and we are in other hair oils and other hair care products. And the whole consumer over habits are changing. You know, people are going from coconut oil to hair oils to value added hair care products. And we are saying it's okay to disrupt. You know, we are big in coconut oil, but it's okay to disrupt by air oils. You know, because if we start protecting that part, then somebody else will disrupt. So, so I think these are some of my thoughts in terms of uh, how do you handle disruptions if you are doing it from a CEO point.